You weren't, even getting, you weren't even getting dance when Can I was about or, right, well, or was, snowball. I'm younger than you. Or snowball. You're 60. You know, you know, snow- I'm 42. <laughs> you're fucking 60. Well, what's going on? We definitely don't, you're gonna show off on age. Boy, you never you never ride horse and cart with me. Of course I didn't. We're in different eras, bro. You're an old foot. Me and you are different. <laughs> you're Brigadier Jerry, and I'm Red Rat. We- Check back in the building another episode elephant in the room podcast your boy c6 your boy this is up in the building and i'm feeling good about myself even though i just farted four times that was a follow through thing I'm not it gonna felt lie. like i was gonna follow through yeah it was disgusting it was disgusting just to witness it was disgusting i wanted to leave Do you notice i haven't poured you a drink either i don't want one i'm not I'm drinking not, alcohol I, at the moment i don't need to drink i want to i want to i want a good show you can't drink the people then like it when I drink, but I don't. I don't drink. like it. When you I drink. don't like it when I drink. Because they t- see that you're a fucking arsehole. You said the true colors. Mm-hmm. True colors. Yes, my people. Listen, big up all of the Instagram. Big up uh, Goofy. Big up Goofy. <laughs> hey, yeah. So yeah, big up Goofy for reaching out. Big him up, man. Yeah, Mister G. Mm, somebody does poop. That was me. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> it's mad. Big up all of the, those on Instagram and TikTok, Facebook. And all commenting and stuff like it's it's proper got mad. You see the last few things that we put up, the conversations have got wild. You know, what I mean, because of it touching a lot of people's, they they can identify with what we're talking about. Do you know what I mean? But Why should they identify? Should have been whining <laughs> on the touching, but it's all good. But yeah, man. So bigger all of that, and definitely bigger all those liking, subscribing on YouTube, and most of all, bigger up our patrons. You know, but see, you are very you 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 bring balance to the show because. Without it, it would just be me being crazy. You are a very wise person, you know that. But I think you do that on purpose. You like you. You're one of them person you like in the comments when people, yeah, C six right, C six because you're 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 an I ego. You're an ego feeder. I definitely don't. But no, you're an ego feeder. But it is. I'm not gonna. You see, because you act like you're t- you're too knowledgeable. No, I don't act like I'm not. I, I, I talk what I know, and and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And it. The thing is, what seems to happen is, the things we talk about is. You are can just mad. You, your opinions are wild sometimes, but I'm I'm definitely not right about everything. Do you get what I'm saying? But the, the little things like the age, not liking the younger generation's music is definitely a sign. No, that, of your yeah, age. and that was food for thought because that that was very smart and it and it was very correct. How do you get to these things? You're very you're very knowledgeable right, for a man that's like semi no because you're dunce, but you're smart. Do you know what I mean? You know what they're saying, it. They're it's like girls got a big breast, so, but they're flat to a. They're flat. They look big, big flat breast. <laughs> she got just massive pancakes, bro. You know what it is? Maybe, maybe you say I'm not book smart, but I, I got a little bit of sense in it. You know what I mean? Got common sense. I got a lot of common sense. No, you, 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 you do, you do, you, 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 um, you're unbiased in your opinion, and you give good, good, good factual opinions, and you're very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Thank you. So I appreciate you, it. for a man, so you was talking about back in the day. Yeah, I was with the man. You weren't. You was in the books. You was being very nerdy. You know, You're a nerd, but to, you try to. to, to act, be honest, you're trying listen, to hide your nerdism. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. Firstly, this is one thing you need to know. I will never claim to be nothing I'm not. And and secondly, I will never claim to be road and ghetto and gang affiliated because that to me is not even a flex. It's not even a flex. It's not even a flex. I was a bad boy. I used to bunk school. Okay, that's dumb. To me, being a bad boy and bunk in school is dumb. You think I'm going to promote that for my youth? No. So trust me, I'm never going to. I know you can, can I say something to you. The way you rub out these things, it makes it sound so. Bruh, it's stupid, up. bro. You make it sound so it's fuck stupid. up. Let's Everybody used to bunk back in the day. It's, bunking is dumb. How's it dumb though? Because why would you want to rub out bunking? Dumb. Let me tell you why I know it's dumb. Because as a big man, when you see the bunkers, yeah, from school days. And the bad boys and the bullies and whoever used to be outside smoking at the back of the bike shed. You see them as big man. They're rubbed out. They're nothing. <laughs> when you and then when you when you find out, say, bro, you go for you go for a mortgage and your mortgage broker is that you that was the little idiot you. And when you go to the bank, the bank manager's this, or you go to the doctor and the doctor's that, brother. They're none of the bunkers and the bad boys and the man who was robbing and smoking. And none of them. They're outside the book here, and it's some joke thing. So a lot of the stuff I talk about is is in hindsight. So like in school days, I rated, I see, man, I rate them like, rah. But I wasn't, my dad wouldn't let me live certain life. I, 
I was never, you think I could bunk school and it go back to my house? I couldn't do it. I'd probably still be grounded. So basically the man them As that, a big man. So the man them that used to bunk school back in the days, yeah. they're the guys you see in or outside the book here. Brother, I'm not saying every <laughs> single person because there's definitely people that have excelled from just being, they were mixed up with everyone else and they've excelled in life. There's exceptions to every rule. But the average youth that didn't take school serious and just wanted to be a big man, just wanted to be on road and just wanted to have in jail, stab up this, like this, the story for them is mad. The decisions that you make as a youth, they, they've shaped your path as a big man. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? I know man that I went to school with who's never seen outside from school days. They're still in jail. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> I left school in the 90s. I left school in 98. And there's man who went jail in 99. And to 2024, they ain't touch road because of their decisions. This is wild. <laughs> I know man who's been out of jail more than he's been in jail. I know a man that just come out I mean, sorry, been in jail more than he's been out of jail. Like, that man that institutionalized. They come out, they go back in. They come out, they go back in. They come out, they go back in. I know a man who used to sell weed and he did really well on selling weed. Then he then he stepped into the next lane and then he started doing that and he was doing all right. And now he's on it. Now he's on it. You see them man there, the man that asks you for a pound. I feel like the man's rich. No, the man's on it. The man is on it. And he had all the business acumen because he made a lot of money where everybody was just... Making like hand them out, you know, like weed ain't like most people that shop weed just get through. No one know, but he was he had business acumen, and now he's a big <coughs> time. He's on. He's a crackhead. You see him? He's begging, brother. I'm telling you, I see an Instagram of some man. They got him rapping for money. He used to be a name. He used to be a name. <laughs> and you know what? I I learned this kind of thing from early because you see when I was rolling with my dad. Yeah. And we would drive past somewhere. He would tell me, you see that man there? He used to be the big man, you know. Or him used to, boy, that, boy, that man there, nobody never used to could talk to him, you know. Man, all look upon him. Like, outside the book, he drunk, tenants. And has got a super skull. With the brown bag. With the, that, without the brown bag. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Nine o'clock in the morning, without the bag. Just drinking it, raggo. What? What are we doing here? What are we doing here, blood? <laughs> so I'm telling you, bro. I rub out things that I think are dumb. And if I would not promote my sons or any of my friend's sons or any youth around me mm-hmm. down that road, then I'm rubbing it out. If you choose to live it, that's your life, isn't it? That's you. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to tell you how to live, mm. but I'm not going to be bigging you up. I think a little you can say, yeah, yeah, man, I bust monk school today, man. And I'll be like, oh yeah, wicked. But I say, you stupid. So mm. You're going to regret that. You're going to regret that. You can grow up and regret that. Man used to, I know man who bunked their exams and then can't do nothing. Because now, you know, like there are, there's a time in life where having some sort of qualification will help you in some way, shape, or form. So, what qualification you got? Because you're trying to. Talk I don't have a lot of qualifications. So, what the fuck? Then you I might as well have bunked then. I don't have a lot of qualifications. Then, why didn't you bunk school but what then? What I have, what I have is, is what? Work ethic. What I have is work so ethic. So, I could bunk so school and still have work <laughs> ethic? No. Idiot. No. How? No. You're dumb. You didn't even have ethic for school. No, you're a you're dickhead. No, no, listen, I'm not you're saying... Just no, listen, I'm there, no, wait, 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 let me land that pussy all. Yeah. Because you're sitting there talking about, yeah, <laughs> bunking is wrong. <laughs> this, this, that, and it very, is very. wrong. And, and, you, and, you, and you're done, so you're going to be outside the... Bo- you're, you're four minutes away from outside the bookie. Yes, you, you but ain't got never, no, But you ain't got no qualifications. And you're I've there got cussing people. You ain't got it, shit. I've got quali- listen, got shit, I've got shit. I've got GCSEs. For a man that never bunk... Bro, and four I'm minutes away from the Ross Club bookies, you you failed. I'm gonna tell you, failure. I'm gonna tell you this. I got GCSEs. come to my shop. <laughs> I got GCSEs. Yeah, I did quite decent in my GCSEs. So the course that I wanted to do in college, I needed at least five A to C's GCSE. I achieved five A to C's, and then I passed my driving test when I was 17. That's a good look. That's I wanted. A good, a I wish I did that. Yeah, I wanted a car. I couldn't afford a car. I used to work in Safeway. You know, you know about Safeway. Come on. I used to work in Safeway. There's a tea from in there. And I never, I couldn't see. Them time there, I was earning three pound ten an hour. Them time I used to teeth about ten. Yeah, you could be teeth, but I, was, I, was earning, I was earning three pound ten an hour. Yeah, listen to I was them taking that ten pounds yeah. <laughs> within a, within an hour. That's cool. They ain't got you anywhere, but yeah, three pound ten an idiot. hour. Yeah, I was earning, and I'm doing part time. I'm not making the money to go and flip in buy a whip in it. So I'm like, cool. So I see the advert on the bus. Earn five hundred pound a week. I'm saying five 
hundred pound a week. If I do that for six months, I can buy a car then go back to college. So I left college to go and drive the bus. Within three months, I bought myself a car. One. And I never, ever flipping left the buses. Uh, so <laughs> I kind of got stuck. But that is how my life went. Do you get what I'm saying? So I was in college and it just thought, it just worked for me. I wanted I wanted money, but I weren't prepared to be a thief. I weren't prepared to be a robber or a shot. I wanted to work. And that's good. That is good. And and that's... And I'm flex, And I'm rolling with the man then. But we're just different. Yeah. We're just different. Because when they're doing things, I'm not on it. Is that... Do you think because you had a two-household parent? Um... I don't think so. I don't think that's the... Oh, it's definitely, definitely plays a big part. My dad was very active. No, because... Remember you, I don't think... I don't think you grew the up only reason. Because my brother in, grew up in the same house. He wanted road. He wanted it. He didn't have to. We didn't, we didn't have to. We didn't grow up hard. We were not poor. Yeah. My parents did very well. We didn't have to be road. And my dad was... He had... He was doing his thing. So he had a lot of respect. Mm -hmm. So we automatically inherited his respect. Yeah, yeah. So we never God. even had to fight through certain things. We yeah. were given respect. Mm -hmm. So my brother wanted to just emulate my dad and be like him, even though he's trying to steer us down a different road. Mm -hmm. My brother just wants to do that. So that's a road, man. My brother. No, your dad. Oh, my dad had done his thing, man. He done his thing. So how come? So, so you turned because to be the what, nerd. because was he disappointed? So what would you do? Would you want to go and make Daddy go to jail in the yard? No, no, no. Well, why not? What did you do? Do you see what I'm saying? You're going to deter your kids from the stuff yeah, you yeah, go through. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm that joking, was our, I'm joking. Where his aim is, aim is, You're this never is what want I your have to do. Just, you don't yeah, have to yeah, do this. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So this is why he would show us things. He would tell us things. I knew about all the badness, but I also knew the, the other side of it. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? So it, I wasn't, I didn't appeal to me. My parents smoke. I don't smoke. It's just things, I think I'm quite unique in some of the things I do. I'm quite, I've never, I've been a free thinker for a long time. I, if I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. So that's why. You, so you didn't follow the masses. So it's very, it's very weird to find someone that because you don't really smoke or drink. I know, yeah. The man them were on it, like when we were used, but I just, it's just not for me. There's enough things I did. Were you weird? Huh? Were you like a weirdo? Nah, man. I just not a follower. No, because you don't went and you got that one. You that's, that's not I'm, on nothing. I'm not a follower. It's not that I'm not on nothing because, but it's, it's like, nothing to do with follower. You be a fo of course it is. If because the person that brings the weed, it's usually one man that brings the weed, and then ten of you smoke it. You're ten followers. How? Because the, you didn't want to smoke because you didn't bring it yourself. <laughs> Someone really just sense. brought weed and said, let's smoke, guys. Okay, sure. No, I'm saying, no, nah, that's for you. Like, you lot do that. I'm not in that. I didn't grow up in a, I didn't grow up on an estate. So I didn't even, when, when I used to go to my brethren's estate, I felt weird chilling on the block. I didn't grow up no, in an estate. No, I grew up, that, that, don't do no, that. It's, no, I'm telling, no, okay, cool. So when people- Estates come, built us. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not that's I'm why not, you're different. I'm not looking you down on anybody. On the street. I'm not looking down on anyone. But Black what people I'm are supposed is, to be drawn on the street. I tell that to what you. What are you saying? Black people are meant to be born Fuck on the street. <laughs> Fuck off. You. Fuck off. <laughs> you street nigga. So you think black people should just be ghetto? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's, good. it's happening, Felicia. <laughs> yeah, nah, man. Nah, listen, there's nothing. You're hanging around, I, I get bored. Mm -hmm. So like when a man ain't doing nothing, like after, like, what are we doing? Like, what's oh going on? God. I just want to go. No, that's weird though. What doing nothing is weird. Standing on the street doing nothing. That is, is weird. something. Standing, coming out of the house on the blocks, chilling on the blocks, chilling on the go to your chilling yard. on the blocks like a low life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's bullshit. Them things to me, I swear. Like I'd be there like twenty minutes. I'm like, so aren't we doing anything? But saying that, none of my kids could tell me, tell me, Dad, we're going out to chill. You're fucking, my Tanya. You, you couldn't tell me that. Yeah, of course, because you're stupid. Some, some different type of excuse. It's dance, bro. Like. You know when you're just chilling and you ain't doing nothing, 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 nothing. There's, you ain't going nowhere. What are you man on? Boy, we're just here, innit? Yeah. That's and that's like even it, on my blocks, the, the older guys now, they control at the end. You know, summer, there's a little, because like, they're going over south. You know, they, mm. in the blocks, they've just built and ends. Mm. This is where we jam every day, drink, smoke, mm. cook food, yes, sir. Yeah, this is, all sorts. You get me? But I go there and it looks lively, but I can't stay there for more than 10 minutes. Because what are you doing? When you go there and you realise it's the same dead conversation yeah. and it's the same, there's just no, it's just, it just yeah. feels ambitious. And there's drink there, it's just drunk. Yeah, it's just yeah. no ambitious. Nah, so, yeah. so I don't got no time for that. Before, and I've never, I've never had time. But it looks lively, you know what I'm saying, from the outside. Yeah, but it looks lively for 10 minutes. And they That's see me, me, I'm gone. And I was driving early. So this is something I realised. This is why I've, so my daughter's, um, when she was 17, I made, I got her through a driving test and now I've got mm -hmm. another daughter, 17. And I'm putting her through because for me, the importance of driving, my independence went. I never had to hang around. 
I never had to wait around for a lift. I never had to wait around for the last bus or, bef- or I just do what I want when I want, go when I want, come when I want. Do you get what I'm saying? It was all on me, my terms. And then I started knowing London because I started getting interested in women that lived outside of South. So I'd be in a rave, meet a girl, she tell me she lives South. Oh, tell me you live, I live in, I don't know, Collindale. I'm like, yo, t- <laughs> I'm interested. Cause it's just for the drive. To, it's just because of the drive and get yeah. to know the ends. And <laughs> just be off the ends. Like it was just different. Um, and I think that kind of changed my trajectory also because I had no time for hanging around. None. Zero. We weren't doing that and I'm gone. If I link the man them and nothing ain't going on half an hour, I'm gone. Something else. So what got you to DJing? That was just because I love music and, you know, that was so... My my brother and I and I got me into that. He taught me how to mix. So he used to play music. I just like I just think, yeah. The first time you do it and the people them in the dance like it. The buzz. I like the feeling, yeah, that was a buzz for me. You know what I'm saying? So and it just but, progressed from there. But saying that, you don't really talk. I do, but I don't it's not, I prefer to have someone talk. Because it's like I come from selector, um, Mike Man. So you're the so you're the selector. So yeah. So that's my preference, just yeah. to juggle and yeah. then someone do them thing. That's my preference. That's why I was always in a sound. Yeah. I played my position. But it's only when people are on different energy. Mm. I was in Exodus sound, you don't know about them sound there. Exodus, I don't I know the original Exodus four by four, but you're just in a little fake Exodus from London. Yeah, but, from, in, yeah, from, but Exodus four by four is a can, Canadian sound. No, no, the proper the pop-up e- sound. I'm talking about Exodus from Brixton, South London, Senator D. See that's from it's Brixton. Whereabouts? Um Bricks and yeah, there's some of Leighton. It was around them oh, sizes. Right, so what, what year was this? Because it sounds from Bricks so I'm talking about the 80s. I'm talking about the 80s. Talking about high power. No, I'm talking about from the 80s. Yeah, that's the 80s sound. No, it's Taurus yeah, High Power. They come from Dorset no. Road. Proper no. Brixton sound. No, no, that was Brixton's number one sound, in fact. No, it wasn't. Yeah, Exodus. Of it is. Oh, do your maths. Okay, I'll play the tune. Play, I'll, do, play the tune Exodus, by, Exodus. I'll play the tune by White. Find out about Exodus. You're talking about the sound and your sound ain't in that. And you were just, if you was in the sound, you're just a box boy. I was a box boy. You did follow a sound, follow, follow, try to get But you was nothing. In, get a can I. You, was, you don't free. know about them thing there. And you, you, weren't even, you weren't even game dance when can I was about. Or, right, well, or I was, snowball. I'm younger than you. Or snowball. You're 60. You know, you know, I'm 42. <laughs> you're fucking 60. Well, what's going on? We definitely don't. You're going to show off on age. Well, boy, you never you never ride horse and cart with me. Of course I didn't. We're in different eras, bro. You're an old foot. Me and you are different. Yeah. <laughs> You're Brigadier Jerry, and I'm Red Rat. We've yeah. been talking about this already. Yeah, they, yeah you said, yeah, I come up with Admiral Bailey. Like, That's your thing. That's a good one. You never write horse or cat with me. <laughs> <laughs> you got way We're back. We're not about cat with chalk. I don't know nothing, bro. <laughs> automatic chalk, bro. We've got new steel. Got, you, you, never, you never drive no cat with no big stiff steering. No, bro. we got power steering. Shut up, CC. You you're, you're old. Well, bro, your you know. first car was a B Reg or something <laughs> like that. You're old. You're old, you know. <laughs> Just because you dress young don't mean that you're young, you know. You're oh. actually your old foot. Old. Them <laughs> coughing, coughing, coughing every minute. You're sick, bro. You're old and sick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fucking twat. Stop bullying me. Anyway, let's move on, man. Big up, big up, everyone. After that onslaught. <laughs> Basty. The man gave me an onslaught. Anyway, um, before we get to the topics, they're saying um, Vibe Cartel got the... A bigger res- is gonna get a bigger reception. I got a bigger reception than Bob Marley. No, no, sorry, cut that. Popcorn, sorry, big up to popcorn. Stole that like Crystal Palace the other day, mm. and they're saying that he got a bigger crowd than when Bob Marley came in. Maybe because Bob it's Marley, times. Bob Marley's fame has been since he died. So that what we the Bob Marley we're thinking of is post death. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Bob Marley, when he was alive, was big, but he wasn't as big as he is now. Yes. Bob Marley today is massive. If he could come back from the death and and and, and do a concert, no, there's no, a country couldn't hold him. He could, t- you know what I'm saying? He could, people, so, but his death. So what people are doing when they're saying stuff like that is they're thinking popcorn is. Um, they're looking at it like no way because Bob Marley's Bob Marley, but at the time when Bob Marley did it, he's not the Bob Marley of. After his death, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But Popcorn's achievement was big. Yeah. He's got, he's, he's got, we're in a different time. We've got social media. Yeah. He's rolling with Drake. Like, we got a complete different time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, saying that, do you think, and they're saying, um, 
cartel, like a lot of hotels. Are you are you getting down for this concert? Hell no. But you can't get no room. In. Well, you got your right because you have your place. I got my place. If I go yeah. there, I'm good. But yeah. the problem is, I seen the prices. It's mad, isn't it? There's no way. This I'm going to see cartel at that kind of money. No, can I say something to you? I've Hell done no. the, I've done the maths and the calculation. It, he's gonna at least earn twenty million English pounds. People are listen. And that's the minimum. People can't afford to go and see twenty him. million. That's if it sells out. But it's people, going to sell out. People can't afford to see him. <laughs> Because we say that, I then look at people saying, "Oh, we're broke." Then you haven't you been to a festival the other day? And no, so I'm talking about there. Jamaicans, the, bro. The poor people that have been supporting them all this time. It's not about them, bro. They cannot afford it. Th- it's not about them. But then it's supposed to be about them. You, well, you go be an activist. They no, don't I'm care not about to that. Be it's supposed to be about. But it's I, not about them. They're the people that made him. They don't care. Anyway, he's not even a great performer. He's not a great performer. Do you think, do you think he's in his in his in his heyday when he was? Dark skin and maga, he wasn't a good performer. And now he's swell up and bleach out. How's he going to be better? Hell, I'm not paying five bills to see that. So you could have to sit down on a chair and fucking... Way back and they have binoculars. No, nah, I'm not doing it. Hell no. He's going to make no. some crazy... But then one. guess what's happened? Buju and Beris have got a concert on the 4th. So it's kind of made the whole weekend of that New Year's more appealing. Because you can fly out, go to the cartel show... And then a couple of days later, go to Butcher and Berries. So it's kind of, that's the only thing that, we, if you see me out there, that's because of that. And then I'll do both. Can we do both? Because I'll have free lodging because you got a big yard in yard. I do have a big yard in yard, of course. So if you roll, you roll. That's fine. That's fine. But you got to pay your, you got to pay your tide, bro. I paid nothing. You're you talking big. Then you're not rolling. Yeah, that's a shot. He's got money, so don't try it. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's, that's what, what are we doing here? What are we do- Whoa, where? How did we get there? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, we're here. We're here. Full steel. Go like your squeaky clean. And then nice time you come. But yes, get, um, get talk. um, yes. Move on swiftly. Um, the cartel prices are mad for me. Do you think um, it's that's gonna be one of the biggest concerts in Jamaica? Because right now, they, they, their problem is what right now is finding space to put the concert. Well, the, the biggest place to do it is in the national stadium, isn't it? No, 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 that's that, that, that's just too small because only holds thirty five thousand. So they're thinking of getting um like Ocho and do it like you know on the beach side thing on the yeah. They need the open. They're field. gonna have to make something. Yeah, they're gonna have to make something. But what I'm saying is, at the cost, at the cost that they're doing it, it's too much. Because it's too not, much. They, they, but they, they don't too go. Much. We're still gonna be sold out. You could say that you could say that look more. It's, not, it's still going to be sold out, is, my brother. I, listen, I forget that it's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that it's right just because it's going to. I'm not saying that it's right. Uh, yeah, but I think that I just said it's still going to sell out. Price the, the locals. It's not fair. You can't outprice the locals. They probably might have you know like um, wireless do for the neighbors. You know. <laughs> you need to. What, what do they do? Yeah, free tickets. Yeah, twenty twenty free. Twenty percent off. Twenty percent off or something. They got like to do something. They cannot. They probably can't, do that. Listen, you cannot outprice the locals in Jamaica. That's. Remember when that, you go to Jamaica and you go to a, and you see a concert and it's got fifty artists and it's a thousand dollars because that is where the but my thing is you, it probably will be but remember it's for idiots that's the foreigners because they know for, as I said try to book a hotel right now you can't get none along the whole coast Jamaica book out right now so we was talking about it already book out so it's the foreigners are they're rolling right now if if you got place to rent down there. Cause I don't know how people are gonna fit down in that country. Cause they're, they're, they're not, crazy not, as well. I've seen them fly. I did check the flights. The, the flights are crazy. Yeah, there's not enough. There's not enough. There's not enough flights, and there's not enough hotels for that Four weekend. People. To hope people where that's gonna be at least hundred thousand people gonna come to that. To, to be honest, New Year's is a big is a big money day for me. So for me to lose the money to go and spend money, it's kind of counterproductive. Yeah, yeah cause I I like to go in the New Year's with money. That sets me up for the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah, to be fair. Yeah. It's a good money. It's a good day for money. Booking wise, I'm doing all right. There's no way I should be spending fifteen hundred pounds to get there, then spending five bills on a ticket because I'm gonna want VVIP. I'm mm. not gonna be in no pop general population. I could never I'm do be that. Up front, you know, but behind the first, I want to be by the first fence. Yeah, up so that's where I'm gonna. If I do go, that's where I'm gonna be, and then I'm gonna go to the butcher and Berries, and then I'm just. <sighs> So, from a financial perspective, it, it just might be it might be a five grand weekend, and <laughs> just too much for me, bro. I'm not interested in that. 
So yeah, not in there. It's five bags because that's what it's going to work out to be. That's going to be a mad money. Yeah. But I'm saying he's going to be a super millionaire. You understand? Because the money that he's made before, because now he's on TikTok. Now he's, he's sponsored. He's been paid by Snap. He, all these social media companies because he brought the internet when he came out so he's getting extra money from that he's richer than he was rich when he was in prison and make but he's, he's the money now is astronomical i just hope that he gets to his health right that's all that's the fact just focus on his health i think it might be too soon for the concert i watched this clip when too he soon was, when he was doing but you never had grave disease bro the guy was he done this video he said he was on a treadmill and he was walking he said, yeah just i start can't to overdo it right now. And I respect it because he knows his li- levels. But he's going to have to at least do two hours on the stage. And I don't know if you've ever been on the stage, like running up and down, because uh, you're on the stage, but running up and down and singing and... Yeah, it's long. Bro, two hours is going to kill him. It's like, too much. Like the Michael Jackson thing. <laughs> Brother, you got to be fit to do that, you know. Have you ever seen... This is someone like Capleton, you know. They're like... Phys- they're fit. Yeah. No, see Capleton... Stick up in on the cartel thing. I was watching perform. He he reverses time because when he's jumping, he's still got the same height ratio. What, brother? No, he's he still dunk, got the he, he can dunk. He, he's still got the same height ratio. Bro, every and jump then, is every, the same. Yes, yeah. And it's not you know like when you get older, you think right, I'm jumping them up. No, it's like he's got higher. Let me say he's jumped them. He's <laughs> jumped them. I shrink. No, he don't, his jumps are not shrinking. He's got the big jumps, and it's the, <laughs> he can dunk. He's fit. Yeah, and it, you know. And, and he's consistent and, and, and with he, it. And he's singing at the same time. Yeah, and he's consistent and he's doing a whole concert. No, you see, I like, to, I, I, you know what with, What I rate with certain of these artists? Even Shabba was getting on good. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, you know when you get older now and you see your artists that you grew up with and they just look done out and they're still trying to be that artist. You're just like, you feel like, yeah. love it. It's, it's like, funny, when you see like, did you see like Bobby Brown like pop up recently? No. And he was trying to dance and he's like, yo, it's so cringe. That kind of, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you understand? That, we don't want to see that. They've got to maintain because you're going to be around, you're going to be known as this artist. Popping down is not the greatest thing to do. Uh, if you pop down, then you can't, the, the, don't try to come back and sing. Let it go. Don't come back. Like, did you see a picture of Jaim? And you he needs to put that. He needs to put. singer, you know. You get me. He's talking about put that woman first. He better put that toupee for first. But he just just pulled it off. He's got <laughs> bald, bro. Just shave it all off. It's mad. And it's because remember they're supposed to be this hot R and B singers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> the R and B dudes have to be slick. But the worst one for me that broke my heart was when I see Jojo, but no they, Casey. They but they've been mash up. Oh my god, Casey. But they got like I swear they got like substance abuse issues. And stuff. No, it's crackhead. It's crackhead. Full yeah, crackhead. Yeah, yeah. To to see. No, it's mad though. Like, us as a black people, why is our heroes turn crackheads? Joe the Sea, no? But they all take crack. All of these No, but 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 No, forget them taking crack. Black people, man, because you think Ozzy Osbourne and them not mash up because of of their. No, but they don't look. But they still. That's how they. How do you look? Bro, it's about. It preserved them. Everything is about. White people on drugs. Don't say that. Don't say that. It preserved them like chicken. It's not not about the drug. Everything is about maintenance, isn't it? You see a crackhead that can afford to take crack. He's not a crackhead. He's a crack user. I didn't. The moment you lose your peas and cannot afford your habit, you become a crackhead. That's when you start itching and teething and wanting to do anything for yeah. it. Man, I suck your dick, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. cheeseburger, anything. Like, yeah. Because you now can't afford your habit. When you can afford your habit, you're just a crack user. And there's many, 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 many crack users. And a lot of these rich people are crack users, but they can afford their habits. They get, they get an itch, they go and scratch it. It's when they can't afford to scratch the itch where there's a problem. Because most of the crackheads you see didn't start being crackheads when they were broke. Crackheads started when they had a house, had a little money, had a good job. Had some, Most crackheads have dropped off. I mean, I told you about the, my brother earlier. He was doing things. He was up there. And now the crackheads just mash him down till he, till to he, now the crack is out. He's outliving him. He's outliving his funds. And he's a crackhead, but he was a crack user before. I'm saying it's true. That, that's very smart. But crackhead is a crackhead. <laughs> yeah, but you said there's crackheads. You will never know a crackhead because they can manage their habits. They're still crackheads. Yeah, crack but you will user. never know that. Like whatever. But they're so still like, fucking listen, crackheads. All right, all right, listen. Like, right, you know what? That's because you're gonna make you're gonna normalize people talking about what because I couldn't maintain my thing. I'm not a crackhead. I'm crack user, but there's a difference. <laughs> no, but it's... But You're a crackhead, dude. Yeah, but every single addiction, there's like... All right, gambling, yeah? 
Gambling is a terrible addiction. Sometimes worse than crack, to be fair. But if you, you crack your smoke if you gamble <laughs> from a never-ending pot of money, yeah. So Drake's a big gambler, for example, millions on, on foolishness. But because he can afford it, you, it looks like he's fine. But it, when the gambler is gambling his wages for the week and go home and can't afford to feed his family, then there's a problem. Do you understand? But the the facts are, the addiction is exactly the same for both people. The addiction is the bad thing. Just your circumstances make you look worse. But you're just as bad as him. But he can, he's can he got the money to mask it. So it's not bad then? Of course it's bad. The addiction is the bad thing. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not normalising being a crack user. I'm just saying <laughs> you, you, you won't know that that crack user is actually mash up because he's maintaining. That's it. Look, look at a man like you. Oh, here we go. This <laughs> fucking did it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was coming, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, who you reckon is going to have a bigger concert? Out of who? Buju and Vibes. Oh, it's probably going to be Vibes. But Vibes has got a different fan base, isn't it? No, but I reckon we just got a big worldwide no, thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, Don't but, step on Buju's door like that. We're, but we're talking about... You see, I'm, not, I'm definitely not doing that. Just But young fan base rave more and go out more and have disposable money more than the older fan base. No. Of course they do. No. So why don't, why are raves every week full of young people? They, you cannot go around a young rave. And if you, go, it, to, if you go to wireless every week, if wireless was, if wireless was wireless for, big, uh, if wireless was wireless for the over 40s, yeah, it would have, it would have half the people. Can I say something to you? Now I know you're chatting shit because my thing is, Young people, I would f- prefer have a rave full of old people than young people because young people ain't spending no money. They're, what what, you'd prefer, they're not spending no fucking money you in your prefer, rave. What Big is, people are spending money in your the, thing. Who makes the money? Who, who's the music made for? The Pitney them. Because, so wait, so then if the Pitney them are not the, the, the people that go and actually go out, why are the music's made for them? If the, mu- if the big people are the ravers, why are we not making music for big people? It's a regurgitation. The young people go out. They go out. Yes, we might have more money, but we don't go out every single week. So yes, we'll go out this week and we'll spend a lot more money than the average young person. But they're out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you had a nightclub, but guy, but if you had a nightclub, if you had a nightclub, if you was the nightclub owner, mm-hmm. you own the nightclub. Mm-hmm. And someone said, yo, listen, boy, you can have a once a month Raytown style and make a little money. Or you can have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of the youth then. And forget, we're not talking about trouble, we're just talking about money. What would you opt for? The money. Which one of the two? The, the Ray Town every month with the big people, once a month, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of the young people every week? What would you opt for? Obviously, the business every opportunity. Okay, day. so that's why I reckon that the Cartel concert will be bigger than the Buju concert because he has a younger fan base that, are, that will come out. He would have. Picnic teens, TikTok generation that will come out. Would you has got seasoned big people that like him? And why well, you know said we can't go to you know come back I heard me and wear it, but you know what so I mean? you think buy an album or whatever. So you can even as it stands now, him just coming out. Vibes Carter is probably the richest artist in Jamaica. I don't know, about, I don't know anyone's finances. I re- but I reckon I know that someone like Flower Gun has a lot of money that no one don't think about because when Flower Gun sued. Miley Cyrus, he got 50 million. Shut up. 50 million American dollars because she put his lyric in her song. Shut in. What's it, Flower Gun's lyrics? We run things, things no run we. She put that in her song. He sued her and she settled out of court for 50 million American dollars. But it, like, that's money. You can't chat to him. You can't chat to Shaggy for money. You can't chat to Sean Paul for money. What? Is that flower gun? That's why he's, not here. he's, he's probably even Jamaica again. He's got flower gun again, you know. Who's his brother? Red Dragon. He's probably living off of his brothers. There's people that are in their catalogs. There's people that their catalog is crazy. The Marley them. You can't chat to the Marley them for mu- for money. Marley them are different. Yeah, yeah. The Marley them are different. You can't chat to them for money. I never said fucking said that reggae artist, not man with money. The Marley them, Damien Marley, Stephen Marley. Them, I'm talking about them. That's reggae artists. Yeah. You can't chat to them for money. Talking about richness, you said who's the richest? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. What are you talking about? All right, pussy face. <laughs> All Spice is doing great. 
Yeah. Big in America. Shen Tia, big in America. I don't know their finances, but they're doing good, big stuff. Look at Popcorn. You just said, look how many people he had in it's millions. Palace. That's millions of pounds. It's a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. With the, with the Jake Drakes and these guys. People have got money out there, you know. C- Cartel is Jamaica famous as opposed to worldwide famous. He hasn't got the fan base. Someone like Busy Signal might have a bigger world, worldwide fan base. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not, not like I'm not talking about um, the, the, with Jamaicans abroad. I'm talking about with abroad, abroad. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like you don't think like some major laser is a massive collective. They make and they got loads of busy signal songs or whatever. That's worldwide. Them man, they tour France, Japan, Spain, this that every single year. They're just touring. So who knows like who's got the money? But I know Cartel is more of a star amongst the Jamaicans as opposed to worldwide. Mm-hmm. I think Rumpin' Shop might be his biggest external hit. It's not, it's not, a, that's not a big enough hit. That's nothing like it wasn't me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like on a worldwide stage. So you don't know. Wow. Food for thought. Food for thought right there. Yam it then now. You know it, man, because you know I'm pussy. Anyway, people. <laughs> so rude. Isn't it? I don't even know why we're friends. You know why, pussy. All. Hi, six and Dizzle. My best friend asked me to come with her to Jamaica. I went. We hung out with her male cousin most of the time. We had fun. Six months on, she tells me her cousin's coming over and he has nowhere to stay. Her flat is crowded, so... <laughs> So she, I don't know what I'm laughing. So she asks if he can stay by me as I have a two bedroom flat and I live alone. Okay. I said no as it does not fit right with me. Rascal. I don't really know him apart from those two weeks and how can I be sure it's only for two weeks? You go girl, you're very kind of smart, I like you. My friend cursed me out, Rascal, <coughs> and told me I'm a bad friend and she has cut me off and totally blocked me. Yeah, she's done your favour, baby girl, from all social media platforms. She has also been chatting my name neg- negatively to our mutual friends. Was I wrong to say no? Hell no. You dodge a bullet, baby love. 100%. You dodge. See, I, see how it's toxic now, like you, see, you used to say no. That's how it would have been toxic You with, with the person in your yard and now you're trying to make, get the, kick their cousin out or you're trying to kick my cousin out. You're trying to do... It, it would have been beef. Listen, it's it's... You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. It's your house. It's your life. You don't have to do anything. If he's got nowhere to go, then fucking stay in Jamaica, bro. And I hate that. I know it sounds bad. You got... He's coming over and he's got nowhere to go. Well, stay where you are, bro. Why are you coming? If you're going to come somewhere new, have something pattern. Mm. Or it makes no sense. That means he's coming. He's got nowhere to go. You definitely are his. That's why they friend you up, stay with him. You probably flirted with her for the every day for the two weeks. And that's the thing about it. Now people are always like finding tenants for your one room. Make you tell somebody you got a spare room. That's it. That brings in the man. Ross, me know some C six. They have a spare room, man. Yo, C six. John, time I come over, and we are picking up. We are bringing him over to you. Cause him can spare the spare room for a couple of weeks. Cause you don't know. You do not do not with the spare room, and then you just you're there, and you know, you work and yeah, nobody. You got, you got some like, No, you know. No, because I've been working from home, so I've been like using it as a study. Uh, yeah, no, that's all right. You can use the front room. You know, I'm only got there for two weeks. You know, you know they, they're telling you what's happening. Yeah, never, never. You, you catch what I'm dealing with. You got some people like that, and then they, you say no. Remember, it's sticky because it's a catch twenty two. It's only for two weeks. Some come from but you, you don't know him. It's not. Do you, all I'm saying is, did the right thing, and you should never be made to feel bad for not doing what you don't want to do. You understand? If you don't want to do it, don't do it. We spoke about this at the beginning. I just, I'm never going to do that. I make my own mind up. You can't force me to do nothing. I don't know him. He's not staying in that mind. Done. Sorry. So what? So I can, I can, I can help you find somewhere <laughs> if you need my assistance. But I'm not. He can't stay here. But our friends. But sometimes people don't realize that just open up a bigger picture. Because if their friend's going to cuss you and then chat you for something that. Because you don't, it's yeah, not yeah. her cousin. That was never your friend. Never, 100%. That wasn't your friend. And that was just a friend of convenience to see if she could get something from you. She and then she really realised there's nothing there to get from you. So now I'm going to cut out you your blood clot. You follow her plan. You're like, 
the person that you you know she, and you know that is she's probably given her friend so much so you know like you give a hundred times and then one time you said no they call you and she mind. sounds like she's trying to pass the buck because you know that the cousin's supposed to come stay at your house and you don't want the cousin there Ross. Yeah. you know that she, she knows she don't want the cousin there but fuck it let me stay you can stay at Susie house you understand? No, Susie did the right thing. And then you know, the, and, the little, and, the, and you know the cousin scheming as well. She might say, "Yeah, go. She ain't got a man, you know, so go yeah, there." Man, and then then find himself to, in to, the, there's cooking one for One slam, he's, he's, oh, he's, if he get if he get he's, one no, my mum is gonna be the best guy. She's gonna come back and smell the house, clean up, clean up, smell, cook, cook food, cook, food, that food that cook. Yeah, he's gonna be. Cause remember, she's single. If he get her one slam off of her, she's gone. You know. Yo, people, listen. Make sure you check out us on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash Elephant in the Room. Make sure you sign up. It's only three pounds a month. You get to watch the full episode. All right, because you can see we've just cut the episode short in it. So if you want to watch the full episode, jump onto Patreon. You're also going to get some exclusive content over there. You're also going to be the first dips on anything that we're doing. You're going to be the first person or the first set of people that can get tickets and are going to have the opportunities. All right, so jump over to Patreon and make sure you follow us and you keep it elephant in the room. All right, so join us over on Patreon and peace.